Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I flipped this bathroom today on Dad It Yourself as part of my home renovation series. So I'm in here in the shower, and the homeowner already put up the concrete board, the wonder board light. But what they didn't do is tape and mud the seams. So that's what's getting done right now before we put the tile up. And you can see we had to take the faucets off. And that was really easy. They actually just spin right off. And when we're done with the tile, we'll just screw them right back on. And that's where the shower head goes, right there. Okay, day two at the reno house. Looks like, what do we got in here? Looks like that's good. Ready for the tile guy to come in today. And yeah, let's go check that bathroom out. Looks like it's good and dry too. So we're putting red guard on the wall and that provides an extra layer of water protection against the hardy board. Got the first two courses up, and of course there's a bow in the wall. And the homeowner, when he was putting up the concrete board, did not take that into account. But we get it fixed. It looks good. Making great headway. Back wall's completely done. And then starting on the front wall. Yeah, definitely gonna get this done today and then probably grout Monday or Tuesday. You gotta check this out. Look how amazing this came out. This tile guy is a true professional. Look at the veining he matched as best he could. I mean, this is the middle of the back, diagonal, across, pulled that veining all the way down to the front and down and across. True professional. I mean, most hack guys would have just put the tiles up every which way and not paid attention. This looks amazing. So he's grouting with a white sanded, and you only want to use a sanded grout if the seam is over a sixteenth of an inch. Anything smaller than that, you want to use an unsanded grout so it gets down into those little narrow caps. Uh, in the bathroom, uh, you can see I got the knob off. I'm painting the back of this door. And look at this. Oh my! The grout is done and it looks amazing. So we'll let this dry overnight and then probably tomorrow I'll put all the fixtures back in. We'll rehang the shower curtain, touch up a little bit more paint in here I'm working on and put the plates on and we'll be done with this room. So I'm working in the bathroom today and I already took the sink off this vanity. Um, Plumbing was a little questionable, but I can fix it. Uh, vanity was not attached to the wall, so I'm gonna fix that. And I've got a new vanity top already, picked up at the Home Depot. Right there matches the floor, and I already put all the plumbing on it. If you're ever swapping out a sink, you wanna put the plumbing on while the top is off. It is way easier. So what I'm gonna do is level this out, and connect it to the wall and then slap that vanity on top of that and I had to do a little modification I had to take this piece out of the side but I left these corner brackets on to give it some stability until the glue is down on the edges and got the tub all cleaned out pretty much and all the fixtures installed 
How's that look? Pretty fabulous, huh? This bathroom's coming along nicely. So everything's good. Got caulking up there, white painter's caulk, and white painter's caulk right there, and then some clear caulk right there. And then I repipe this down here. They had a rubber hose connecting this to this because it was offset. And knowing that in hindsight, before I screwed this vanity in, I would have moved it over about a half an inch to the right and then I wouldn't have had to put that 45 connection in there. But it's all good, fits good. No leaks. All right, guess what's next? Oh, paint. All right, so I'm wrapping up for the day. Uh, I painted all the wainscoting and it looks like definitely it's gonna need a second coat. But this sink looks so much better than what was there before. It just really, it matches the floors. It matches this wall. It just really brings this bathroom together. Uh, I'm almost done here. I just got to do a little bit of floorboard or baseboard down there and put some plug covers on. And I think this wall is probably going to need another coat of paint too. Um, and this bathroom will be done. It's, uh, did I tell you how much I hate painting? I really do. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So back in the bathroom, just finished putting all this base molding in. Um, the previous homeowner had five quarter here with a three quarter cove molding. And then he had just some cheapy half inch MDF around this. So I went ahead and matched that. Got the corners nice and tight. Check out this little detail right here. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I just need to clean up this old uh, caulking and then put some new caulking in and then throw some paint on this. All right, so I got paint on those baseboards and these walls and probably the baseboards need one more coat of paint. And then these walls could probably use a little touch up, especially up around over here. So the next time we see this bathroom, it's going to be done. Well, this bathroom is a wrap. All the paints on here. Even got a shower curtain hung. Not really the style of this bathroom, but it is what it is. Check out that tile, it came out fabulous. All the paint's cleaned up, everything looks great. The only thing I'm missing, that plug cover. I'm waiting for that to come in from Amazon, so as soon as it comes in, I'll get that in. So that's number two done. Fortunately for me, the homeowner had done a majority of this work. We just had to do the tile and I had to touch up the paint and replace the vanity. Easy day, couple of days. Yeah, the tile's a little expensive, but that vanity was only a couple hundred bucks. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos here you may like and the subscribe button's there. Thanks for watching, Dad It Yourself.